we had a really, really hectic release week, and then on Friday, um, I went and did Sirius Radio. It's, some, it's one of the last parts of the promo week, so I'm like, oh my god, it's finally almost over. But I'm going to go in there and talk to some radio, meet some winners, be great. Which, you know, we go to their studio, and uh, it was a really laid-back interview, which is great. Sirius XM, the highway. Speak now live with Taylor Smith. And the cool thing is there were all these fans there. They were sitting there, and, like, I got to talk to them, I got to hang out with them and like hear what their favorite songs were on the record. And it was just such a cool experience for me because these are all new songs and these are all new reactions I'm getting about these new songs. And uh, it was a really, really good day. You just said, as the song started playing, this is the first time you heard Back to December on the radio. It's really excellent to hear it play <laughs> on the radio. I'm so excited. Hearing some of the songs from Speak Now on the radio for the first time was such an amazing experience because that's an album that I put everything into. And thinking about that, thinking about those songs being broadcast out there for anyone to hear, it's, that's a big thought to wrap your mind around. At some point there was an impromptu dance party that began and I, uh, I think it, was, it started with the photographer who decided that he was like gonna dance to the songs as they were playing on the radio, and then I decided that he looked like he was having fun, so I started dancing with him. And then some of the fans decided they wanted to dance too, and then it became like me and then the little girls dancing, and it was just it was just one of the coolest parts of the week for me because it was like that's one of the reasons why you make music so people can dance to it. I love being reminded of that. We had one final surprise for the fans on release week, and that was um, I wanted to see what would happen if I tweeted that we would be somewhere and then show up and see who else showed up. So we have something pretty sneaky up our sleeves. I'm going to do a surprise performance on Hollywood Boulevard, and right now I'm going to tweet it to my fans an hour ahead of time. So I did. I said if anybody's going to be on Hollywood and Highland in an hour, my band and I might see you. And I hope that people show up. We're in California now, we're at Hollywood on Highland. Taylor has just tweeted that she's gonna be performing here. So we've already got our first batch of fans showing up, so the frenzy is building. Should be pretty cool, we're pretty psyched. A lot of people are showing up, helicopters, there's like 50 cop cars here. Everyone's just, there's a good vibe in the air. And so, sure enough, we get on this giant bus that has my giant face on it. Wow. That's my face on there. <laughs> and we're standing on top of this bus and we're driving down Hollywood and Highland and all of a sudden we see them. I thought that maybe maybe 30 people would end up showing up. And it was it was uh it was a lot more than 30, which blew my mind. I decided I wanted to perform the song Long Live on Hollywood and Highland because I uh, I wanted to sing it with a lot of the fans that would show up just with a simple tweet. With you. I initially wrote the song um, backstage in, in the changing room every single time I'd be like ready to go out for the encore on the Fearless Tour. I had this melody in my head, and it like, it, it, it kept coming back to me at the same moment every single night on tour. So I initially wrote it about my band and the fans that I see in the audience singing the songs and how that feels, how that makes me feel to feel like we're a team. There was uh, a major traffic jam caused by our little event, our little, our little incident on Hollywood and Highland. You know, we had fun, like, waving to the fans, like we were driving really slow and so we could talk to them. The craziness of release week is something that I'll never forget. You know, the feeling of, I'm gonna be in New York today, LA tomorrow, 
you know, then we're gonna be all over the world just jet-setting around. It was such an insane, fast-paced week of my life, and I'm so glad that we captured it on film. Watching it on Thanksgiving, after all of this has happened, and after the fans have done so much for me, after the fans went out and bought over a million copies of that record in the first week, having all of that in my mind and knowing all of that, watching the Thanksgiving special of how it all began with this record was so emotional for me and I just, I couldn't help but be so thankful and so appreciative and grateful that I get to do this and I hope the fans like the special as much as I liked making it.